Submitting a sitemap to Google can help pages on your website get indexed. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create an XML sitemap for WordPress. So today I'm going to use a WordPress plugin that I'm using that I find to be um, incredible. It's an incredible suite of tools, but it also takes care of the sitemap for us. So basically, if you found this video, you probably already know what a sitemap is. It's essentially a directory of all of the pages, posts, tags, categories, news, videos, whatever you want to include. It puts them all together in a, um, in a format where the search engines can understand the relationships and it can help index your website. Okay, so just think of it as a directory of all the important things that are on your website. Do you have to submit a sitemap to Google? No. Is it helpful? Yes. Now, the tool that I use is called Rank Math, and I'm going to put a um, link in the description below for you to check out Rank Math. I do have an affiliate relationship with Rank Math, which means if you wind up purchasing the program, I also benefit. I do pay for my own tool. So here you can see my website. So on my website, I've got posts, I've got categories, I've got tags, I've got pages. Um, I'm using videos right now. I'm just embedding YouTube videos. I'm not hosting them on my main website. So I don't really need a video sitemap. Um, but this is how it works. So we're going to go over here and we're going to look at rank math. So what you would do is um, and when you click on the link, you're going to be taken to the Rank Math website where you can purchase a plugin. Let's take a quick look at pricing. I never know how much things are when I'm first looking at it. So um, you're over here looking at this pro, perfect for bloggers, individuals, and solopreneurs, 59 bucks a year. Okay, so not, not a huge investment and you get a lot of tools. Okay, so here's what it looks like. When we install Rank Math, you're going to have this amazing dashboard. So not only are you going to get the sitemap, you're going to get a 404 monitor. You can use the AMP plugin to make your website AMP friendly if you want to do that. You're going to be able to see analytics. These are just some of the examples. You're going to have image SEO, local SEO. Um, here's an example of the news sitemap. Now, if I'm not doing news related content, I can just turn that off. I don't need that component in my sitemap because it's not something I'm using. That's how easy this plugin is. So turn it on, turn it off. We've got redirections. We've got schema markup, role managers, SEO analysis, video sitemaps, Google Web Stories, WooCommerce, and you can just turn things on and off depending on what you're using. Now for us today, we're taking a look right here at this sitemap because what we want to do is we want to create a sitemap with all of the important items we want to include. And then we want to go ahead and submit that to the search engines. And we're going to do this to Google through Google Search Console. But here's where it gets even better. If you come down here, you're on Rank Math, and you come down to your analytics. It's the second one on here. Actually, it's in your setup. I'm sorry. I've already set mine up, so you wouldn't be able to see it that way. When you do your setup and you go through this, what's called the setup wizard. So it'll take you through easy, advanced, custom mode, whatever, whatever it is. And you're going to go to start wizard. It's going to walk you through each um, segment. Well, when you get to analytics, you're going to be able to connect your Google Analytics and your Google Search Console. Now, when you do that, it is then going to automatically submit your sitemap to Google. So you don't have to go into anywhere separate and do that. This is going to take care of it for you. All right. So for the non geeks, this is super easy. And even for those that have more knowledge, this is a, a fantastic tool. Okay. So let's go back down to sitemap settings. When you first set this up, you're going to be able to select the max number of links on each sitemap page. You can choose whether or not you want to include your images in sitemaps, and that helps the search engines index those important images. Do you want to include the featured image too, even if it does not directly include in, uh, um, directly in the post content, you can choose. You can exclude posts by going over and finding the post ID, and you can exclude it. You can exclude certain terms that you don't want to be applied in your from your taxonomies. 
And here, I love this, ping the search engines, automatically notify Google when a sitemap gets updated. Yes, that's what we wanna do. Now, if you wanna go down each section, there are some more settings. Do you wanna include blog posts in your sitemap? Well, yes, of course we do. Do you wanna include pages in your sitemap? You may or may not. Do you wanna include attachments in your sitemap? Now, if you include attachments in your sitemap, it's going to include the page that it's attached to, but we've already submitted those in the posts and pages, so we don't need to do that again. If you have a portfolio or other items that are part of your theme or plugins, you'll see those options over here. Do you want to include those? Categories. Some people don't index their categories. They, have a, they select it to no indexing and they don't index categories. So if you don't have your categories indexed and you don't want Google to crawl and find those, you can turn that off. So then you won't have categories as part of your sitemap. Tags, do you want tags to be part of your sitemap? You can include those or turn them off. Do you have videos that you want to include if you're hosting videos on your website? And do you want to include local SEO on your website? If you have various locations, that might be important to you. That's how easy this is. Now, if you want to learn more about these sitemaps, you can click on the learn more. It'll open the rank math library and all of your questions are going to get answered. But I wanted to show you how simple this is just to add this plugin, run through the wizard, set everything up, make sure your Google search console and analytics are connected. Then Google will submit your sitemap. And here's what it looks like. So we're in Google search console. This is the sitemap. Um, I had other sitemaps before with my other plugins, but this is the sitemap that Rank Math is adding. They've, it's got 1,459 discovered URLs as part of the website. And then if I wanted to, I could click on this little bar chart and then I can see coverage issues where there might be errors, what's valid, what's not valid. Do I need to go in and take a look at these 64? Are they actually gonna matter? So as I'm going down here, I'm gonna go look at these and I would go open them to find out why the, those might not be working or why they might not be indexed. Maybe the page has moved, maybe I changed the URL, maybe there's something wrong with the page. So I like to be able to see those reports so that we can go in and check the coverage and see if there's any indexing issues um, because we want those pages to be indexed by Google so they rank. So that's it, check out Rank Math, link to, in the description below. I'm Lori Ballin, internet marketing strategist, SEO, content creation. Thanks for joining me today.